Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the z-score in Excel using proportions. This is a statistical test that involves uh, comparing a sample uh, versus a, an assumed uh, pr proportion uh, from the greater population. So let, let's take a look at the spreadsheet I have, and I, and I have it all laid out for you here. Um, we have a proportion, and let's just say we have, uh, we're producing something and, and um, there's a certain proportion that of, of what we're producing that's, that, are, that are rejects, uh, that don't, don't pass some kind of quality control test. So let's just say that, uh, you know, from historical uh, experience, it, the, the reject rate is 10%. Um, so we, do, we take a sample and we find that 15% of them are rejected and uh, out of a sample size of 10. The question is, is that significant uh, to, to a, certain, um, uh, probab uh, you know, a certain test? Um, the formula for doing that is to, first we need to know the standard deviation of the, of the sample, and the function is, is shown over here, for the, the formula for calculating the standard deviation. It's the square root of the proportion times one minus a portion, all of that divided by the sample size. And in our case, the standard deviation in whatever units we're, we're measuring this in is, is point one, or I'm sorry, the sample, standard deviation of the proportion is 0.113. Um, the thing we want to know is the Z value. And basically the Z value on a, on a normal distribution is uh, how far, measures how far away you are from the mean. So a z-value of zero would mean you're right at the mean. A z-value of minus one would mean you're minus one standard deviation. Plus one, one would mean you're plus one standard deviation. And for a test like this, uh, if you're too many standard deviations away from the mean, um, you, you would reject the, uh, the hypothesis that the sample is within the, the global sample population and you would determine that it's a different population. So um, the formula for, for, the, for the z value is the sample proportion minus the uh, hypothesized uh, proportion, all of that divided by the standard deviation. And in our case, it's, whoops, it's 0.443. Uh, if we go to a, a normal distribution, for that z value, that corresponds to a probability um, uh, uh, of 0.36. Now let's just see what happens when we change some of the different numbers. Let's say we take a larger sample size, but we were still getting that 15% number compared to our assumed hypothesized uh, proportion of, of 0.1. Let's, change, let's double the sample size and see what happens. We type in 20 instead of 10. The Z value uh, goes up, the probability goes up. If we, if we increase it, let's say to 100, um, now the z-value is 1.4, which means now we're 1.4 sigma away from the mean, and the probability is starting to go down, and, uh, which means we're further out on the tail of our normal distribution. If we take a very large sample size and we're still getting 15%, now we're at the 4.4 uh, sigmas away from the mean and a very low probability. At that point, we, we can be fairly confident that it's a different sample population. So you can uh, enter these, these formulas into Excel yourself and, and play around and, and apply them to whatever problem uh, you're, you're trying to, to understand. Uh, so I hope this is helpful. Again, this is Ted, and today I showed you how to calculate uh, the Z-score using proportions in Excel. Thank you for watching.